I think there are three goals of meditation. One is insight, just like calming things down so you can learn about yourself. Another is cultivating compassion. And the third is just being calm. So if your meditation practice is not doing those three things, it's probably not the right meditation practice. Just being quiet, I think, is important. Not yeah. not only in this city and, and whatever, no matter who you are, if you can just be quiet just for a second. Mm-hmm. People are afraid of silence, I think, in oh, this yeah. technology world, world of technology and life and fast trains and cars. And But when you really sit, all of a sudden you're with yourself. And that's powerful and scary. And, and it's also physiologically, like humans are very adaptable, mm-hmm. but as a species, we're designed to be quiet a lot. Mm. You know, think of our ancestors 100,000 years ago. They spent a lot of time sitting around, <laughs> you know, like sitting in caves, <laughs> sitting in fields. Just They didn't have right. phones. They didn't have music. They didn't yeah. have TV. They didn't have books. They sat. Maybe they told stories. Maybe mm-hmm. they danced. But it was a lot of resting, mm-hmm. a lot of existing in a state of calm. And now we wake up and the first thing we do grab your phone. If left to my own devices, I would check my phone a hundred times a day. Mm -hmm. So what I do instead is I either put it in a drawer or I put it in my office Mm -hmm. and say, it stays there, you know? And if I'm in my office, I can check it. For a while, I had this really good rule, which was every time I check my phone, I have to meditate. Mm -hmm. Even if, if it's for just a few minutes, it was just like a quid pro quo. Check your phone, you know, like check Facebook, Mm -hmm. check Instagram, spend five minutes meditating. So you said you had that rule for a little while, didn't it? I, I, I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna. I'm hoping to get back to that a little bit.